and the displacement is controlled by C. It's actually negative C over B by both of them. And if it's negative, you start to the left of the y-axis. If it's positive, you start to the right of the y-axis. So basically, if C is negative, because negative and negative will be positive, you have a positive shift. You're going to the right. If C, if this number is positive, this value will be negative and you'll have a negative shift. You're starting backward. So here's an example. Graph. y equals cosine 2x plus, let's say, pi over 6. I hate these markers winding on the video already. I have good ones, but they're upstairs. I wasn't planning on doing all of this today. So my amplitude, what's my amplitude? The absolute value of one, which is one. My period, it's two pi divided by what? Two, which is pi. My shift, It's negative C over B. Negative pi over 6 divided by 2, which is what? Negative pi over 12. Dividing by 2 is the same as multiplying by 1 half, right? So what does that mean? That means when you graph it, Before, we always started from the y-axis. This is a cosine function, right? Yes, cosine. That's a cosine function. So a cosine function starts high, but it's not going to start from here. It's being shifted backwards. It's going to start somewhere here. Again, this point here is negative pi over 12. That's where you're going to start from. How high is it going to go? 1 and negative 1. Now, the tough question is, what is this end here? What's this value? It's not pi. Remember, from here to here is pi, right there. That gap, the distance from here, this pen, to that pen, that's what pi is. 11, 12. 11, 12, yes. So the end point, it's always the start plus the period. Always. So your starting point today is what? Negative pi over 12. And what's the period? Pi. Well, if you're going to add fractions, what do you need? Common denominator. And what's your common denominator here? It's 12. So it'll be 12 pi over 12. What's minus 1 plus 12? 11 pi over 12. So that value has to be 11 pi over 12.
Let me try another one. Y equals one third sine one half X minus pi over eight. What is my amplitude? Absolute value of one third, which is one third. What is the period? It's two pi divided by b. What's b here? One half. When you divide by half, the same as multiplying by what? By two, that's four pi. What is the shift? It's negative c, so there's the minus. What's c here? Negative pi over 8 divided by what? 1 half. Negative, negative, that's a positive. So it's pi over 8 dividing by a half is the same as multiplication by what? 2 over 1. So you end up with pi over what? 4? Positive. Since the shift is positive pi over 4, that's where you're going to start from. And it's going to go, it's a sine function. It's going to look like this. What's the height of it? one third and down here negative one third this point here the end again is going to be the start which is pi over four add to it the period and what is the period four pi The 4 pi is over 1, so if you want to add or subtract, you need common denominator, which is a 4. That's 16 pi over 4. 1 plus 16, 17 pi over 4. Now, usually when they give you the graph of this, they don't just graph this piece. They extend it like this. Because that's coming. It's continuous. It doesn't really stop. But what you have to do is look and see where this one starts from. Does it start at pi over 4? Does it end at 17 pi over 4? Does it go as high as 1 third? Does it go as low as negative 1 third? If that's what you have, that is the graph, the correct answer. They're going to give you four of them, and you decide which one is the correct one. Let me try one more. Negative 2 
cosine 2x plus pi My amplitude is what? Absolute value of negative 2, which is 2. My period is going to be 2 pi divided by what? 2, which is pi. My shift. It's minus C. C is pi divided by B, which is 2. Negative pi over 2. Nope. Oh, I should have gave myself some space. Notice a couple of things here. The period is pi. The shift is half of that. Negative. So you're going to start somewhere here. It's a cosine function. Well, cosine function is the karate kid. But this is going to be upside down because of the minus sign. See that minus? It's going to flip it. So you're going to start here. That line really should be in the middle there, like this. Because you're starting at negative pi over 2. The height is 2. Down here is negative 2. Where are you going to end at? The end is always the start, which is negative pi over 2, plus the period, which is pi. which is pi over 2. That's why the peak value should be, should be smack in the middle. Half of the function to the left, the other half on the right. It's a cosine function is flipped upside down. <laughs>